Hello everybody, it's Gary Stuckey with Journey News. Some sad news for you today. George Tickner, the original rhythm guitarist for Journey, has passed away at the age of 76. And he was one of the founding members. And he came from a band called Frumius Bandersnatch, along with fellow Journey founder Ross Valerie. In 1973, Tickner was in the lineup for a number of performances by Jerry Garcia and Merle Saunders Band. And after recording Journey's debut album, he left the band to attend Stanford Medical School on a full scholarship, and upon his departure, Neil Sean took over the guitar parts and would do that until Jonathan Kane would play rhythm guitar. According to the Journey Time Cubed box set, booklet, it says that Tickner supplied many of the blueprints for the band's beginnings and music. Some of his compositions were little more than chord changes with whimsical names like Sketches of Pacheco, but he laid out a unique floor plan for the band. He came up with chordings I have never heard, said Greg Riley, the original keyboardist for Journey. He had these massive hands, and he would detune his strings and come up with these voicings that nobody else could. Tigner wrote three songs on Journey's debut album that was co-writer of Of a Lifetime. He also wrote Topaz and co-wrote Mystery Mountain. On Journey's second album, Look Into the Future, he co-wrote the songs You're On Your Own and I'm Gonna Leave You. And on Journey's third album, he co-wrote the song Nickel and Dime. And there he is in 2005, of course, with Steve Perry and Neil Sean as they were inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yes, George Tickner played a huge part in those journey beginnings and Part of the reason why they're still here, because, you know, they had so much energy back in those days that carried on even till today. Tigner maintained an active interest in music, and he still played with his former bandmates like Ross Valerie. They created The Hive, a recording studio where he continued to write and compose music. And he and Valerie and keyboardist Stevie Keys Roseman came together to form the band VTR, releasing an album called Cinema, which featured other present and former members of Journey, such as Neil Sean, Steve Smith, and Prairie Prince. A very talented guy indeed. In his honor, I think we should all go back and listen to those first Journey albums and see what big part that George played in those days. Go find a copy of VTR and check it out. And uh, just remember that you're not going to find too many people like that anymore, that uh, talented um, members uh, of bands that that founded such a great legacy. And uh, he will be missed. Rest in peace, George Tickner. Don't stop believing, everybody. God bless you.